do we see in Mark's writings um, a, a similar critique of Catholicism? Yeah. Of other religions, you yes. know, Islam, yes. Um, yes. or 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 is there is it is it you know one broad? I, yeah. I, I, right. Okay. I had right. spoken to. Perfect. We had interviewed right. someone who mentioned right. Right. Voltaire. Right. right. Was right. Voltaire right. anti-Semitic, or was it simply his yeah. Semitism was an offshoot of his criticism right. of right. the Bible? Right. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so I, I think we need to understand. Um, Marx wrote his essay on the Jewish question in response to Bruno Bauer's essay, which is also called on the Jewish question. There's an enormous debate. In, mid 1840s Germany about this, which Marx followed very closely. Um, and in one of his, uh, for his, in fact, his first published book, The Holy Family, he went back to the debate um, and revisited it. Um, and to understand the debate, I think we need to understand different takes on religion and their relationship to civil rights and nationalism um, in Germany at the time. Um, for a lot of conservative Germans, uh, Jews could not be, um, citizens um, either of a kingdom of Prussia or of a German nation state because um, they were not Christians. Um, and to be a German was to be a Christian um, and um, because Jews were not, uh, Jews rejected the basic tenet of Christianity, the divinity of Jesus and did not accept Jesus as their savior. They were condemned by God to an inferior position and a German nation which upheld the tenets of Christianity could not um, grant Jews civic, basic civic rights or only inferior civic rights. Proponents of what the contemporaries call Jewish emancipation, or we might say equal rights with Christians, or even better, a um, separation of church and state or a government which saw religion as a private matter, not impinging on citizenship, um, generally had a more liberal take on Christianity. Um, they reinterpreted Christianity in terms of um, enlightenment ideas of the 19th century. Uh, they were often Unitarians and um, didn't have any truck with the idea of the divinity of Jesus. Now, and they were also generally proponents of Jewish emancipation. There was, however, and this is really very interesting, a group of liberal Protestants who opposed this, who had a very different take on Judaism. What they said, not was that Jews are not cursed by God because they don't accept the divinity of Jesus Christ because these liberal Protestants themselves did not accept the divinity of Jesus Christ. Um, they were Unitarians. Um, they had a critical attitude to the ideas of the, the books of the New Testament, the gospels. But what they said was Judaism is an ethically inferior religion compared to Christianity. Christianity is universal. Everybody can take up the gospel. Um, Judaism is narrow, it's limited to the chosen people. Christianity is about an individual's moral conscience and his ethical behavior. Judaism is about performing religious rituals without any of this impinging on one's actual conscience. Um, There's an idea I might add that continued in, among liberal Protestant theologians in Germany down to the 1960s. Now, for people who took that point of view, Jews, because they were adherents of a particular and self-centered religion, could not be virtuous, altruistic, public-spirited citizens of a German nation state. Therefore, they do not deserving of the right to equal citizenship. Bruno Bauer, um, very, in, in his essay on the Jewish question, took that point of view and was, was very irascible about it. Bauer, who was an atheist and denounced Christianity, said Jews had to convert to Christianity before they could become German citizens, um, which may sound like an odd thing, but he wanted to argue that since he himself was rejecting it, but he was arguing that um, Jews needed to leave their ethically inferior particularist religion um, to become to be fit for citizenship. Marx, um, in his response, and Marx's response, his essay on the Jewish question comes in two parts. Um, in the first part, he says, well, he denounces Bauer and says that, in fact, um, the appropriate version of a, um, a modern democratic nation state is one in which church and state are separate, um, in which um, religion is private matter. And he 
uh, quotes on this point from the Constitution of the French Republic of the 1790s, and actually even the Constitution of various American states, um, including Pennsylvania, as I recall. Um, he argues this is this is um, this is what a modern nation state should do. Um, all religion should be equal under the law. Church and state should be separate. Uh, this, of course, is an as explicit argument for the emancipation of the Jews. Um, and uh, Marx quite vehemently rejects Bauer on this point. If he'd stopped there, um, nobody would have made any nasty remarks about Marx and his anti-Semitism. But then there's a part two to his essay uh, where he goes on to say, well, you know, so um, going in, in Germany from an authoritarian bureaucratic regime, um, privileges of the nobility to a sort of um, democratic capitalist nation state is just the first step. The second step, of course, is communism. And then in, in his discussion of capitalist society, Marx, in fact, takes those liberal Protestant ideas about Judaism as an ethically inferior, particular self-centered religion and applies them to capitalism and says the this Jewish idea of particularity and self-centeredness is what makes up capitalism. Um, Self-interested parties in the market um, and in a communist regime, uh, this will all be banished. Uh, personal self-interest and the common good will be reconciled. Um, and a religion which articulates these ideas will vanish as well. Um, and of course, so that his book ends, this essay ends with this idea of communist regime in which Judaism as a sort of articulation of ideas which are realized in capitalism will come to an end too. Uh, so of course that is, needless to say that is for understandable reasons, sounds rather distinctly anti-Semitic. 